Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's golf vlog, we are seeing how low we can go from the short red tees. So a little disclaimer here, I should point out that the short red tees at the Pines, the course plays about 5,300 yards, I think. Um, so a lot of the par fours are basically driver, chip on. Uh, there's the odd one I can reach. The par fives are pretty much the same. Um, you're going in there with a short iron. So this is just an absolute confidence building experiment. I implore every golfer out there to try this. If you're just out there practicing, get on the short red tees and get that feeling, what it feels like to go low, make a lot of birdies, make a lot of pars, the odd eagle, and maybe an albatross. You never know. But yeah, it's just a huge confidence builder. If you're a golfer that usually shoots around 80, 78, something like that, this is a great practice um, session for you guys to get that feeling of going low, being around the 70, maybe set yourself a goal of maybe being one or two under. My goal at the start of this was to try and go 12 under par. Uh, before I started the round, I had singled out holes on the scorecard which I felt were my best scoring opportunities either birdies or eagles um, this was actually on my list as a birdie because I knew my drive I could get it down there have a little 55 yard 60 yard shot um, just didn't hit a great approach into that green it wasn't terrible but again proximity to the hole in this kind of challenge is key you want to be within you know 10 foot max away, eight feet to six feet away, you're going to make a lot of birdies, a lot of eagles. So I've started well here, um, striping the ball off the tee really well. Uh, this is kind of my first, if you like, full iron shot coming into the par five. Just played my little knockdown, didn't quite get um, to the top of its flight, but we're at the front of the green, we're putting. Uh, probably about 25, 30 feet. And right now, all I'm thinking about is pace and line. Get it up there. If she drops for an eagle, great. If not, routine birdie. And we'll be moving on to the next hole. So as you can see in this, I'm really focusing on doing my full pre-shot routine. I have edited out on tee boxes and from the fairways, like the full routine, because otherwise this would be a 40-minute video. But on the greens, I think it's super important. That's where you score. That's where, um, you know, that number in the top right corner tells the full story. And this is where you get that done. So we're off. We're one under par onto hole three. Uh, this was playing about 116 yards, I think, something like that. Might be a bit less. So this was just a gap wedge for me. It was on a really good line, just came up a little bit short. Uh, but another good luck here for birdie. Um, on this day, I should state that there was a lot of debris on the greens. Um, so you, you'll see in some on some greens, it was just impossible for me to clear a line to the flag, basically. Um, so you're going to see him bounce and jump um, around a little bit, but... Here we are with a little tap in, routine three, still one under, onto the par five. So this I'm looking at just hitting a huge draw off the far fairway bunkers that aren't reachable from here, but just as my line sight. And just didn't quite turn it over, but in a really safe spot out there. Um, and left myself, I think, 150... 155 yards, something like that, for my second shot into this par five. Water guards the green and just hit a beauty. Right on the line, safe spot to miss. 152 yards, yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, got it just about pin high, about, I don't know what this is, about 10, 12 feet for the eagle. Mm, just never got it online. But again, routine birdie. Pretty stress-free and two under through four. Onto the par three. This was playing about 118, I think. 
and hit a nice high tower and wedge in there. Uh, 109. So yeah, a little short again. Um, but this is one I had a pretty good read on and fancied I would make this. Just haven't been hitting my putts great recently. Uh, like my lines are a little bit off. Uh, I just need to practice a little bit more on, on my putting. Just the lines, basically. I think the pace isn't too bad at the moment. But uh, yeah, the lines, my start lines are just off a little bit. So here we are on the sixth. I'm obviously going for it with a three wood and just hit an absolute bullet. Nice little draw off the corner of the greenside bunker and just ended up on the back edge here. And this is what I'm talking about with that debris on the on the greens. There was no way I was going to clear all those um, little flowering buds off. Um, but I hit a really good chip here to the point where as soon as I landed it perfect on my spot, thought it was going to go in, takes a little hop off one of those buds and just drifts a little bit right and killed a little bit of speed. But again, this is going to be a routine tap-in birdie. Um, and on to hole number seven. So this is playing about three... 310 um, so I can't I, I know I can't hit it that far so I'm just aiming at the green side bunker to leave myself a good angle and I've just absolutely pured this exactly where I wanted to hit it um, straight out the middle really happy with that so I've left myself a little 40 yard flip to a front uh, pin location so this is all feel in the hands. I'm playing this middle of the stance, club open just a little bit, use the bounce um, and just slide it under and just kind of hold off my finish a little bit right there. Just get a little bit more control, one skip and stop. So here I have about probably six feet for my birdie. Um, my aim obviously to get to 12 under, I, was, I had... Um, it was pretty equal, so six under on the front and the holes that I picked, six under on the back. So this really needs to go in and then birdie eight and nine. That one drops, so I was happy with that. And then we come to number eight. So I'm feeling good, I'm four under par, driving the ball really well. What can go wrong? Oh, that can. Straight left. Tracer wouldn't pick it up. Managed to skip on through to seven fairway, which wasn't too bad. Um, just felt like I wasn't in control there. And on this one, I got super lucky. My right arm, my right hand's come straight off the club at impact, but luckily stayed pretty much on line where I was aiming and had this probably eight to 10 footer, probably about eight feet for birdie. Um, so I was really happy, especially after the tee shot and that second shot, as soon as I hit it, looking up, expecting this ball to be anywhere, uh, but luckily made good contact, even though the hand came off. And that was just too much pace. Too much pace for the line that I picked and just never really gave it a chance. But we're in for a par, four under. Just a little bit off track off my goal right now, but just enjoying hitting quality shots. And this one, I'm just trying to play my little draw off the cor the right hand corner of that fairway bunker and just overcook it a little bit, but it's in a safe enough spot. So I'm over here by the practice area, the bunker in the chipping green. I've got about 50 yards to the flag. I'm trying to play a low checker here and almost thin it. Um, they were, I actually thought there was a chance this might have skipped a few times and gone in the water, but I think I had enough on it that it checked up on about the second bounce. So pretty terrible shot. One that I would expect to get relatively close, um, but got lucky that I even have a putt at this, to be honest. Because like I said, as soon as I hit it, I thought there was a chance it, was, it would go in the water. But So here I am about 12, 15 feet um, back across the hill there and didn't really move that's solid par but I'm happy enough four under par after nine uh, coming to the par five just looking to put a really good swing on this and time to make an eagle and catch up 
some of those strokes that I felt like I dropped there on eight and nine. This was an absolute bullet draw, rode the wind up the perfect side and yeah, so par five, asterisks next to that, but um, left myself 102, 103, something like that. So that's just my 56 degree wedge and hit this perfect. Actually thought there was a good chance that might go in for the Asterix right, Albatross. So up, and yeah. as we come up here, you can see the pitch that's mark about it's three feet short of the flag and the ball's just gone about four and a half, five right, so uh, feet past the flag there. So I've got this putt for Eagle. Uh, just set the camera down there and really need to make this. If we're gonna have any chance of hitting 12 under, I, I really need to make this. But again, I'm feeling confident, right? Because from the white tees or the tips or even the green tees, pretty rare that I'm four under after nine holes. Extremely rare, almost has never happened. So this is just really good confidence booster. I can't say it enough how important it is to sometimes come out and play these rounds. I know they don't mean anything. I know you're not gonna post it on your handicap score or anything like that. But just for that confidence and, and playing those kind of um, drives, 100 yard shot, drive, 110 yard shot. I mean, that's what you need to do. So that one dropped for Eagle. Now I'm feeling really good. This is a 222 yard par three. So this is a three wood into the wind and had it heading towards the water. Looks like it's going in the water, clips that tree, bounces right. And I got extremely lucky here. So feeling really good now. Just trying to play the same shot I did on seven. Middle of the stance, open the blade and just use the bounce and just slide it under, a little 40 yard shot. And this one I was pretty happy with. As you can see, this was a windy day. Uh, it was quite blustery. So it was really hard to know what your ball was gonna do once it reached its apex. So about seven feet here for birdie and just didn't quite get it on the line but routine par six under after 11 on to number 12. this par three was playing i think 150 155 yards something like that and wind would it turned around it was into I actually thought i hit a really good shot it just stopped drawing and ended up on the front part of the green so this is a good 30, 35 foot to a back pin location. Um, so now I'm not thinking of birdie in this one, obviously. I just wanna make a par and make sure I'm keeping bogeys off this scorecard and just plotting my way around and take my opportunities when they present themselves. So I was really happy with this lag putt. Uh, again, it was so strange because it was quite blustery and all these greens are elevated. So it really does, affect you with putting not just you standing over the ball but the ball itself so this was about a three and a half footer when you can see the wind on my shirt they're really howling and was happy to see that one drop so on to 13 just want to play a little cut off the center of the fairway um, and leave myself an angle into this pin uh, the green surrounded by water about 50 yards of it to clear so I'm looking to just leave myself about a hundred out here and hit this really nice. Drifted maybe about six yards further right than I wanted it to. But as you can see, like the angle's perfect from here. Um, and yeah, I think this was about 102 yards. And I think I just flew it to the back edge. Not the back edge, but about, I don't know, I left myself about 18 feet. So yeah, just overflew it a little bit. And it's really difficult to judge the wind um, because as soon as the ball gets above the trees there, it's difficult. And this putt, a little throwback, go on. Simply splendid right there. And that's for all you Tiger Woods 2004 fans out there, PlayStation 2. All right, on so we, that got us to seven under. That was a great putt, especially because I think it hit two or three of those little um, flowering buds that were on the green and still managed to find the hole, so I was happy there. This one I thought I could actually get on there. This was playing 305 downwind and just absolutely hit it all over the flagstick. 
But again, those elevated greens, it's pitched straight into the bank and maybe and even came backwards about three feet. So this is what this is my second shot on the par four. Um, so I've just made a really good putt on 13, just picking my spot. No, it's gonna break towards the right. And honestly, thought that was in. Just caught the edge of the hole there, didn't hit the metal. Uh, obviously this time at the, at the moment the cups are inverted to stop people from pulling the flags out and touching the holes too much so that was a routine birdie and I was happy with that and we're eight under now heading down 15 this is a hole that I had penciled in of making a birdie it's only about 280 yards to the green and I just fanned this one all the way out to the right onto just the back edge of 16 tee box. So here I'm just trying to channel what I did on number seven and number 11, open the face of my 56, and just got way under this. Pop straight up to a back pin location. I don't think that was the right shot. I think it should have been just more of a stock shot. Um, so yeah, I've left myself a good 25 feet here. So again, not looking to make birdie, just trying to get it to within that dustbin lid distance around the flag and take my part and, and move on to 16. So this was a pretty decent roll, just never really got online, but the pace was really good. And that was a kind of stress-free, no-nonsense par. A little bit annoyed at my second shot. Um, with as much wind was up there, and for as long as that shot was, it wasn't that kind of 40 yard shot that I'd done before, that that needed to be more of a stock shot. So moving on to 16, this is about a 90 yard, uh, 56 degree wedge I'm hitting here. Um, as soon as I hit this, I actually thought it was gonna be really good and, and actually cut in there. But if anything, it actually moved a little left. Um, distance was really good, so I wasn't too frustrated with this one. I've got about 10 feet um, for birdie. So with this putt and 17, which is a par five to come, and 18, I really need this to get there. If I'm going to get anywhere near that 12 under par number, this kind of needs to go in. Um, but yeah, like I said, apart from two or three putts I've hit really well today, this one was just never on line. Like I said, my lines are just off, but... I, I feel like if my putter was on on this day, this number could have been ri absolutely ridiculous. And I think, you know, in a few months' time, after I've worked on, on that aspect of my game a little bit more, I might try this again and see what we can do, see if we can beat whatever I end up with here. But, um, yeah, the putter's really, you know, once in a while they'll drop, which is great, um, but you kind of want that consistency, and I just don't have it at the moment. So this is 17. Uh, that drive was pretty good little left of what I wanted and this approach actually caught that uh, a few of those leaves on that tree there and just kind of knocked it out the sky um, so here I'm, I'm on in two it is a par five asterisk next to that uh, so I'm just looking at a real good two putt here take my birdie so yeah that I was really happy with that when anytime you can and lag a 25 footer to within about eight ten inches something like that you you've done all right so i was happy with that so that gets us to nine under and then coming down 18 so t shot here i'm just trying to split the fairway and thought i'd hit a really good shot it just never came back for me i think it was maybe a little bit into a cross breeze so the draw it just didn't come back so I've left myself this, that those branches are in the way. So I'm just hitting a little six iron bump and run. Didn't catch it great. Uh, was actually really fortunate that it snuck up to the fringe of the green. So I'm here in two, par four. Need a real good lag putt. And that was pretty good. So I've got this three, three and a half footer for nine under par keep the bogey off the card so let's see if we can make this still going through the routine even though it's only three and a half feet i've worked this hard and you know spent two and a half three hours to get to this point i don't want to give anything back right now and that was straight in the middle so yeah just to sum up 
this is a, a experiment that I suggest everybody does. It's not something you're going to go out and do with your buddies, but if you're going to go out and play on your own by yourself and you're looking to gain more confidence, play some kind of odd yardages that you wouldn't necessarily play uh, from your regular white tees or whatever tees it is you play, men's tees. Um, like I said, this is great confidence booster. I mean, if I take in course rate in, this was a right in between, sorry, uh, one under par and even par. So solid round of golf. So don't let the nine under kind of fool you. Um, from my, for my handicap, for my tees, this was a right, like I said, right in between one under and even par. Um, so again, solid round, stuff I still need to work on. Uh, like I said, that putting and some of my decision making, um, thinking back to 15 and that approach. But overall, really happy. And I was super happy when I came, when I finished the round to say that you shot nine under par on any golf course is great. There is a massive asterisk next to it, obviously, for the reasons that I've said. But again, if you're trying to get better, confidence is a massive play in any sport and especially this one where it's just you, yourself and I. So I suggest getting out there and giving this experiment a go. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.